Hello loved one, it is TJ here and I love sharing insight to help people expand their mind, heal their body and feed their soul. As many of you may or may not know, I am in the wellness space because I have a passion for all those things and I've always had a passion for holistic healing. So I am a certified holistic healing practitioner and I have I know several different techniques and things like that. Um, and because I'm also in the space of, you know, part-time caregiving and I have experience with working with people who, and loved ones who have had Alzheimer's, um, some levels of dementia, um, who have experienced strokes and things like that, and um, aphasia, things like that, I was called to put this book together. I created this book. I feel like when it is time, when you've had some sort of a brain injury or memory loss, it's always important to go back to basics. And while I believe it's important to go back to basics, I can't help but to, but to also add some challenges in there. So while you need to crawl before you can walk, I like to have it where you crawl and maybe stand up a few times, <laughs> and then you crawl and maybe stand up a few times, and then you start walking, okay? Now this says stroke recovery, mental rehabilitation book, and this is for people who have, um, or who are in the process of healing and recovering from stroke and also for people who are um, experiencing some aphasia, dementia, some Alzheimer's, general memory loss, and also um, other brain injuries. This is also a book that's really good for little ones who are in the process of learning their ABCs and, and words and matching and things like that. Good for memory for them too. And they can even help their grandparents and the grandparents can help them and they can play with this book together. There are several ways to play with this book. Um, I like to keep things simple, practical, but yet fun. Everything that I do is with the intention of having fun and celebrating. And so that brings me to this. The most important thing outside of practice, practice, practice is to have fun with this. When you get tired, you say you're practicing and you get a little tired and you don't want to practice anymore, it's okay to stop and take a rest. Your brain needs to have that time to integrate the information, to process the information. It's perfectly fine. I want you to be very gentle with yourself and be very patient with yourself also. Okay, um, additionally, what you can do, because I am doing some, if not most or all of the letters on this channel, if you do not want to buy the book, you know, if you want to buy the book, the link is in the description below. But if you don't want to buy the book, you can still play, you know, by coming back to the channel and just practicing the videos, the letters. Take your time. You can slow down the videos and you can come back to each one over and over again to practice, okay? But like I said, be very gentle with yourself. Have fun. Now, this book was designed for families who are helping their loved ones to heal and recover all right but it's also for speech pathologists and anyone else in the industry who would like to use this as a tool to help them while they're going maybe if they're going home to home they visiting the home that's like a little added tool that they have in their back pocket you can use this I'm speaking to the professionals. <laughs> if you are not working with your family, like if your family members aren't around and you want to just play by yourself, you can do that. You can use the book and you, or you can also come back to the channel, like I said before, and then we, you and I can do this together. Okay. All right. And just to show you what's in the book, we have the, the letters and then we have words colorful beautiful colorful pictures i love color color is one of my superpowers so what you will see when you see me <laughs> there's always going to be bright color and whimsy involved the color of the book it was there's a reason for the colors in the book there's a reason for the shapes there's also a companion workbook so if you want this 
You can also get the companion workbook where you can practice writing your letters, your name, and things like that, words, it's you know or again if you don't want to do that if you don't need to do that then you can practice with me here on the channel i'm trying to think what else is there now this book is really good to help you with restoring your speech recovery reading spelling and brain cognition i don't know if i mentioned this but there are various ways that you can play with the book and i say play because that is my jam i love to play i love to celebrate and that's just that's just how i'm built that's just who i am okay so when i say play for example here you have the letters and the pictures so what if you want you can practice just saying the words a is four, and you can just practice your reading, and that's it. You can practice your spelling. Just break out a notebook, piece of paper, a pencil, and practice writing the letters. Or you can practice matching the words to the pictures. You can play a game that way, and it's really fun if you have a grandchild or a little one who's there with you, you guys can help each other and learn and, and uh, enunciate and pronounce the words together. Or you can just focus on enunciating the letters. Focus on writing the letters. Capital A, capital A, lowercase a. Okay, so you can do that. Or if you don't feel like doing any of those things, you can simply read the book. Just look at the pictures, look at the words, and just sit back and just read it. Just look at it and just allow your brain to process the information. Take in all the photos, the pictures, and the beautiful colors. You could just look at the colors. You could try recalling the colors like yellow, brown, green, you could black, brown, okay? So you could do that. Just have fun and be as creative as possible. And just so you know, this book also includes some beautiful words of encouragement from people who have experience with, with this, okay? So this book is really written near and dear. Okay, so there are words of encouragement to help you along the way on your quest to healing. I will see you later on in the series. Until then, I'm sending you lots of love and healing blessings.